Me and my brother them used to play right around mm-hmm. nine in Mississippi too. Yeah. And my other brother mm-hmm. I had all kind of different mm-hmm. music in the family. Yeah. We played. We had mm-hmm. five boys and eight girls. Mm-hmm. And they all were musicians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Family and, bands. Uh, right. You just run through the blood. Mm-hmm. I guess my yeah. father was a musician. Mm-hmm. He played a long time. He was on a red before the show. He had to know nine steps before he could be on that show. Mm-hmm. He did all that stuff. Yeah. That stuff. I played from Roller mm-hmm. Park to Mount Bow and Chambers, Rube, all them places I played. Mm-hmm. BB King, we played at all. Metal City over there. Yeah. Yeah. White got it called Honey Cup. He had one on. I'm going back over because didn't have it right. Can you tell me something more about uh, your beginnings? When did you start to be in the world of music? When you took your first instrument to play? I, I, I started when I was uh, 13 or 14, a guitar. And I, I, uh, I pretty quickly I, 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 uh, I, I started playing jazz and blues music because I, that's the records that I played. And I've been playing jazz and blues all my life since then. I, I, uh, and I've... I, I make I make a living from music since I'm 25, you know, and I'm 56 now, so that's more than 30 years. So all all, all different kind of things that I do in music. I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm a musician, but I also do booking. Uh, I have a record label. So all these things together make it possible for me to live live from my music. When I was a little kid, I was already banging on everything, and that's what my mom says and my aunt said, told me. I started off with uh, sewing pins, mm-hmm. and I, I was playing on pillows, and later on whatever I got. And you made a mess in house. Oh, I made a mess in house, yeah. So it was always in my system to be a drummer. Mm-hmm. I never had a lesson in my life, it, it all comes from here, so yeah. Th- that's, that's my story. Blues and so on. No, <laughs> dr- drums, so I play drums, but I play all kinds of music, but also blues. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How did you meet Wu uh, Days? When was that your first first uh, connection? Through the through the music, I heard him sing on the record, mm-hmm. and then I I investigated who it was, and I got in t- I got I got his telephone number, and I called him. So <laughs> very simple, yeah. and and then uh, uh, I mean he's got he's got a voice. Um, I mean I, I like a lot of the old blues records from Howling Wolf and Elmer James, and and Boo Boo has a voice like that. So when I heard that, it, I thought. I'm <laughs> I must find him, you know, and uh, I just started looking with, uh, and uh, got in touch, and we started working together. Yeah, yeah. And and, and we've, we've been uh, doing hundreds of shows, and we made a lot of records. And, and how you started to play with this band? Well, uh, they they asked me uh, like ten years ago if I would uh, like to join the band, and I did. And for now, now for ten years I played with Boo and with Jan. What music means for you? What is the biggest inspiration? Well, there's things that you have in your system and you want to get them out, and that's what you can do with uh, with music. And it's all emotion. You can call it soul or emotion. For me, it's the same thing. And if you, you what what I always like is like we, I always say if we are on the stage, we we give energy, the three of us, and and this energy flows into you, and then you start to dance or to move, and you give we, you you give energy back to us. And then together we, we make a party, and that that can be pre- pretty uh, emotional if uh, if you if you send out a lot of energy. Sometimes it happens, you know. There's some ke- chemistry between uh, between us, and that that comes over to the audience. So that that's what I like. That's really what I like. compare blues in that time and blues today? Oh yeah, yeah, that be, it blues before I was born. Yeah. Like it, my father was playing all that then. Mm-hmm. Then, that, that when we named the band, I got, we started playing, got up in age about 19 and 18 like that. We started playing, and blues still were going on around that. Now, yeah, mm-hmm. Bobby Bland and Milton, Elbow Jeff Deaver and Mother Water, they were playing all up and down around South down there. So, B.B. King, for his song, made him famous, Sweet Sixteen. 
And the other one was he be appetized clock sale, as they call it, what they would, Pepsicon. He played a little bit on Now what the word? He said Pepsicon. That was on that was on the WDIA. And then the fine blind boy. He was singing that on the Sunday. He, he, you know, I know you heard talk of the fine blind boy. I don't know. It. But he was down home too. He was singing church songs. Mm. That's why I was raised up in the church. Started, we started starting in church. That's why the blues come from the church. From the church. You ain't never went to church. If you ain't never went to church, you don't know nothing about no blues. If you ain't never went to God from the gift, you don't know nothing about that. What I tell them all. I mean, I thank you, Dave. He said, who you talking about? Uh, how is that to play blues in Holland? Uh, how is audience for blues, something like that? Uh, how is the music scene, blues scene in Holland? Well, th this ain't going to be nice, but I think in Holland, yeah. usually it's uh, people from a certain age who go to a blues festival. And nowadays, you, you go to a blues festival and all those bands play the same songs. So there's a festival in a town with 20 pubs or something, and every pub there's a blues band playing. But usually it's people who, who play the same songs, they try to be do the same song. So if you if you in bad luck you go into all the twenty pubs and the band play the same song. Same song. <laughs> so it's not so um, so lively anymore, in my opinion. Can you describe me blues pubs, blues clubs from that time? Oh yeah. We saw that in the movies, something like that, but we couldn't visit it. Can you describe me that? Yeah. See, all that kind of stuff, if you ain't got no soul playing, I don't care who you are. You, you got a lot of guys out there playing. You can play the blues a little bit. And they try to sing the blues. They don't even know, they don't, they don't even know nothing about no blues. They ain't never been in that. They ain't never had no hard time. They ain't never been in that. You got to have had hard time. Hard time to know the blues. Hard time to know the blues. But you ain't never had no hard time. You might get out there, get up there, call the public and say, Oh yeah, you can do this, do that. Be up there playing, like, yeah, I can know the blues. Uh, yeah, yeah. And go the same. Anything. And then then it got the books. Now see, a lot of these guys were out there. You know, then it went back, read BB King style, Elmo James style, Mother Walter style, and they out there, they're looking at it and read up on it, see they read up on it, and they know why they get the guitar to play and hit them kind of keys, huh? Get to them keys and play that style. They ain't never had the blues that come from a hard style on their own to put a string upside the wall, two strings upside the wall to play. I never did that, me and my brother did, we did. That's how we started with a, with a, with a, with a take the wild for broom, sweeping broom. Yeah. Take the wild for then, put it upside the wall on the outside. That's where it's starting. Take a little old baller, an antiseptic baller. I don't know if you know about an antiseptic baller, either a Coca Cola baller put up there, and play it and make it sound just like a real, the real shit. Yeah. Then you could take a string, put it in a can. Play with that. No, I don't even do that. Talk on it, you can hear it just like a telephone. Uh -huh. Right, you can do it up there. You can do that too. All that kind of stuff we did that when we were a young band down so. had uh, the most uh, influence in your music it's not one person it's a, it's a lot of a lot of different yeah uh, yeah of course yeah. I mean probably the, f the first guy uh, uh, a friend in school that had a guitar <laughs> and I visited this and I, I touched the guitar and I, I think this is what I want so that's probably the person who had the most influence because that's what all got it all started but for for music I mean I listened I listen to a lot of different music. I, I listen to uh, blues, but also jazz and funk. I also listen to house, techno, uh, all, all kinds of music. So, so uh, I don't think in styles for music. I mean, yeah. 
the most important thing is that you you can find your own style of music yeah. that you yeah. don't copy any other and but you learn from all other yeah yeah musicians. I mean yeah, you, that's that's you have to find your own voice with your instrument and that and that takes a lifetime to to, to develop that and some some people never find it you know but they but as long as you think it's the fingers and it's the strings and then I mean it it should be like speaking I mean if if you hear it in your head it should come out of your fingers. And not your finger should not control it. You know, I mean, it should come. The music is here, uh, and and not in here. You know. People say that uh, blues is music for soul. 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 Yeah. Well, what's blues for you? That's why I come from the church. Yeah. Soul. From soul. You have to heart. get it out there, sing it from the soul to make the public hear. If you can't, if you got a child around or something, do like that, and you you, you they kicked on, and you so you if you got a kid, they do that, and some pet like that, and they're gonna start it doing, they're gonna start it doing some. So, it's in the heart, it can't help it. See? I played for another club, and 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 a big blue fellow club, and a guy I was up there eating, just sitting around like we sitting around. He goes, "Mr. Dave." I had many bands to come play for me. He said, but I ain't never had no band. And the way you singing, had all the little kids, they was out there dancing. They was up there, yeah, dancing. He said, I ain't never seen that. I said, well, that's a gift from God, Jesus Christ. You know, Make them feel it. They're going to move. If they got any feeling, they're going to move. But if they ain't got no feeling, you did. You did. How much is important to to love what you work? Because a lot of people don't have a chance for that. So how can you can you compo compare it to when you talk with some other people that maybe don't don't uh, work something that, that they really really love? I well, I, I follow your dream, and that's what, and, and never never think that it's impossible. I mean, I mean, if if you wanna. If, if you if you want to do something, you just start doing it, and and it it, it will always it can always get better, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like with playing guitar. If you start with a guitar, it sounds like shit, and 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 after two years, it still sounds like shit. But after ten years, it starts to sound a little bit okay. So you have to work on, and and it's the same with with uh, with booking shows or touring. I mean, you have to work on it. Call the clubs, call the festivals, be on the internet. And, and, and sell uh, sell the music and, ma and make people aware of our music and then and then they uh, so so it's it's all a matter of uh, determination mm -hmm. don't give up yeah yeah. Uh, did you have a chance to hear some of uh, Serbian musicians? No, only uh, yesterday we were at a party of somebody who, who had a new kid, yeah. new baby, and they, they, they played uh, folk music with, with a bass and a guitar and a, and, a, and a violin. That was really nice. Really? really yeah, really mm. nice. Yeah. I don't understand your lyrics, but uh, <laughs> somebody explained it a little bit to me. It's, it's, it's nice. It's very nice. That is also music coming from the heart. Yeah. yeah. And further, I, in the pub yesterday we heard some people play, that's it. Do you know maybe some Serbian words now when we talk about that? Or I can teach you, that's not a problem also. But do you know maybe some? Uh, I, I, I picked up a few words that you hear in a lot of the other Slavic countries like Dobra Den and, and, and stuff like that. But I, I, it, it's, so, it's, it's such a different language than, than, than what I... I mean, we, in the school we learn English and French and German. Yes. And, and those are... I, uh, but uh, I mean, if you go in, in, in the Slavic languages, are completely different. I mean, there's n no relation. So it's it's. Uh well, would you like me to teach? Maybe you will need something for tonight. <laughs> I think. Well, I think uh, thank you is voila uh, or thank you is hvala. That's right. Hvala. Oh yeah. Okay. Hvala. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and živeli uh, is cheers. Živeli. 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 Yeah. Okay. So next time you took some shot of rakia, you will know what to say. <laughs> what are your first impressions from Serbia? 
my first impression from Serbia, well, it was cold when we came in, uh -huh. but further on, they, uh, yeah, you, you, you like to drink a lot, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, if, if you are here, you, you're, you're, you're a pussy if you don't drink. Uh -huh. So that's what, uh, what, what we did, you know, we, we blend in, we tried to blend in. No, but it was good. Good food, good people, good drinks, good party. What you tried from food and drink from Serbia? Well, we went to a Hungarian restaurant yeah. and we, uh, we took goulash. Goulash. But uh, I noticed you have chichi and the other things that, uh -huh. that are over here. I, I like it. It's yeah. good. It's good. They and and, we, and we, we drank the raki. Uh -huh. The raki was from Pear and some homemade wine. But you put water in it, we don't. Uh -huh. But yeah. it's good. Good mega food, y'all. What's the most beautiful thing that you had a chance to learn from him and uh, and uh, in the other side uh, what he learned from from you two guys well i mean but the boo boo is 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 born in the blues i mean uh, at that time the, that was the popular culture in the south of america in the south of uh, of the usa and 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 he's he's a direct link to all the music that I really like. I mean, he he, he's, he, he grew up in the same area where uh, Mario Waters come from, where Howling Wolf comes from. So, so I mean, this is a direct link to, to the source of that music. And, yeah. and I mean, so so you just absorb the music through him. And that's 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 it. It's very by being around him, you you not only see the music but also the life that comes with it. You know. Yeah. And, and that's that's something usually. Musicians play the music, but don't li they didn't live the life, you know, and then it's 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 always different, you know So by being able to play with him uh, I, I can really uh, f uh, uh, See with my eyes and hear all the time What did I mean what, what he's what he what he lives is what he sings it's the same, you know but His music is his life and his life is his music so and and by being around him you you you, you, you just can feel that you absorb that yeah yeah, yeah. And that's that's uh, uh, that's something uh, uh, most musicians will not be able to 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 that they don't get the chance to to to, to get that uh, experience. I've got the key to the highway. Walking is much too slow. When the moon peep over the mountain, baby, I'm gonna be on my way. I'm gonna roam this mean old highway till the break. How was that to play with B.B. King in that time, oh, 50s? See, he was living in Ruble, around Ruble, and I was living in Drew, Mississippi. There was a no high part, and that's why we played at that club. Mm -hmm. And it, that's why they had a, we had a battle of music, B.B. King and, and, and myself. And my brother, my father, so all of us playing there together then. And it was called that. We had a band called the Lord Can Band. And it was a Lord Can Band. And what they call a Lord Can Band, my father had a can, put a towel over it. Put a towel over it. And went out there, cut two hickory sticks. General Don, he told me, he said, that's your job, that son. And that's how I started playing on the Lord Can. We named the band the Lord Can Band, Blue Lord Can Band. I met Young 
Back how, how long that been young? That been about twenty, years, ago, 20 years. years. And 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 yeah. And we've been together. He he seen me. I was I wrote one song, number one goal. I ain't going back to East St. Louis. And Young heard me on that CD, me and Arthur William. We were playing together and and Bob. Lord. And uh Jill brought me over here to do it. It was a big blue festival. And uh what that uh here where we at nine. No, no. That was in uh uh Aspidam. Aspidam. It was a whole bus load of us. All kind of music from all over the world. We on that bus. And he had a big blue festival there. Many, 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 many people there. TVs everywhere, all around. They, they had them up where you could see yourself and had them. And then and the people want to pick out the best blues singer there. What are your plans now in future about... Uh this wonderful crew well, you I have now and uh, try to try to try to keep it keep it uh, like we we we, we are uh, i mean we we uh, we uh, we are uh, pretty active i mean we we could play more even but i mean you 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 have to uh, if you play too much in the same places then the the the, the specialty goes away you know so so we 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 play very far apart from we never play in the same town on 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 on, on one tour for instance but I mean, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how things are. I mean, uh. will you come back to Serbia? What are your plans? Something like that. I hope to come back to Serbia and see other towns. Yeah. Because we we flew into to Belgrade and now we in Novo Novo Sad. But I, I guess there's more beautiful things to see here. So uh, I would like to see more of your country. This is your first time here, I guess. Well, I, when I was young, I, I traveled with my bike through uh, all the way through what was still Yugoslavia then to Greece and we went by the coast to, to go to Greece and I took the other road back because there's another road through Serbia and yeah, yeah, yeah. going back home to Austria that's so that's I've I've seen a lot of your uh, your country yeah yeah <laughs> but I guess that now is different a little now bit, it's huh? different yes yes yeah people maybe are a little bit different countries also yes d yes of course but uh, but still, the, the people are people, you know, and, and it's like when you, when you are face to face with somebody, then then it's different. I mean, I, I don't go by opinions or by politics. I mean, the pe people always want to, to to have the good things, and people want peace, you know, and, and they, they want to love each other everywhere. Yeah. No, that, that's uh, always uh, if if you are open-minded, then then you, you you find open-minded people usually. I don't care how many people be here tonight. If you be around here or whatever, you just watch them. I mean, watch how they act when I go to sing. And me and the three, two brothers over there, we, 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 we uh, uh, start. And what I like about them, everything I get and go in the studio to do, tell young Johnny Boy, I said, hey Johnny Boy, this sit us on, hey young, hey, did you listen? We go together. And I bring out, we are family. I ain't got no more family. God. Thank you very much. Thank you. And <laughs> can you maybe please, for the end, huh? play something on the harmonica a little bit for us? Huh? Oh. Uh, or no, later. Huh? Oh, how about it? You want me to play some? If you want to record something. Well, I don't want to, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> I a maybe just a little bit. A few notes. <laughs> yeah, you got a good boy. <laughs> yeah, you got a good boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby, don't you wanna go to the devil? <laughs> Back to the same old place, sweet home, Chicago. <laughs> yeah, thank you, guys. Mm -hmm.